What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. How's it going, everyone, and welcome to episode 88 of the Lost Media Podcast. Today, I'm talking about Freddy Cat. This was a cancelled Disney animated movie that was meant to be released in 2009, but it got cancelled in 2005, and they ceased production on it. It's about a spoilt house cat and a parrot that lose their way from their beautiful home in London. And if this sounds sort of familiar to you guys, in my opinion at least... This is a direct competitor to the movie Flushed Away that was released by DreamWorks Animation in 2006. And yeah, I feel like this is one of those similar tales of Rio and of course Newt that never got released by Disney and also A Bug's Life and Ants. Uh, I really think that it's one of those animation trend things though that go along in different parts of the industry and different eras of the industry. Uh, they last a very short amount of time, but maybe it's studios sharing different ideas or sharing the same ideas at least. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of the time they kind of intersperse. Now, this one was a lot different to Flushed Away. The only similarity is the spoiled pet uh, losing their way from their home. Uh, that's the only thing that relates to Flushed Away at least. This was actually meant to be a Hitchcock noir animated film. So it was meant to be in the style of Alfred Hitchcock's films, but for kids. And this was cancelled partly, in part, due to the fact that uh, the person who cancelled it, a Disney uh, executive at the time, deemed that kids would not understand Hitchcock, so it wouldn't work. Now, in my opinion, that's uh, just a bit of a crock of shit. Uh, they've done all sorts of stuff that is based on old-time things. Uh, there's Hoodwinked as well. And I just thought off at the top of my head, <laughs> kind of kind of mental blank because I just randomly thought of that and forgot the actual thing I was going to say. And um, it's one of those tropes that they used a lot uh, in animation, actually, basing certain scenes and even full movies off really old style uh, crime dramas or an old style of TV show or film that was done many years ago. It's not the type of thing that could stop a film from being marketed towards a certain audience. That's just my thoughts. Uh, I don't think that ruins a film's performance at all. I think they just said that to basically throw something out there, to come up with something to kind of disguise why they didn't want this movie to go ahead. Uh, I actually think they just didn't like the idea, generally. Um, the idea is very vague in the Lost Media Wiki description, and there's not much from it. What's playing behind me are the only screen caps uh, from this movie and there's really not a lot of information about it uh, a lot of this is guesswork from me and uh, also trying to figure out on this podcast today if this was potentially animated at all I don't think any animation was actually done on this in fact it never got past the little little drawings and concept art stage um, it just seems like one of those ideas that they kind of messed around with but never really went ahead. And a lot of people have heard about the Pixar and Disney differences in terms of Pixar only having one cancelled idea that the public caught wind of and Disney having heaps, especially since 2000. There's been lots, or the late 90s. Uh, and this is one of the lesser known ones, I'd say. <coughs> Excuse me. This is one of the far lesser known ones. Nobody knows much about Freddy Cat and I didn't know much about Freddy Cat uh, at all until reading this very short Lost Media Wiki article. I'm going to read out the article because there's not much of it and I figured, you know what, I don't read out articles very often anymore on the Lost Media podcast and for something with such vague information, I'd rather just read out the specifics and get it exactly right so you guys can get the most general or ba bare bones basic idea of what this movie was all about. So the plot is pretty similar to what I said, I hope. <laughs> the film details the adventures of Oscar, a cat, and Corina, a cockatoo. They're two spoiled pets that live in an easy life, that live an easy life in the owner's... Oh, there's so many ads on this freaking page when you, watch, when you view it on a phone, so it jumps around where you're trying to read. Let me begin from their two spoiled pets that live an easy life in their owner's London flat until a fellow neighborhood pet is kidnapped and Oscar is the prime suspect 
And the two set off on a mission to find out the real reason of the feral culprit in order to clear Oscar's name. So I wasn't exactly correct in my intro to this that they somehow lose their way from their home. It's kind of on the money, sort of. Not really. <laughs> oh, now I'm trying to clear my name in terms of spreading misinformation in these podcasts. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I read this out because that's the real uh, plot of the story. It was cancelled. Uh and this is the story, at least, of it being cancelled. The initial story reel was presented in May 2004 by David Stanton, then president of Walt Disney Feature Animation, and he wouldn't agree to greenlit development on the movie because he did not see it to marketable to a general audience, and he felt that the kids wouldn't know who Alfred Hitchcock is. Completely irrelevant to how a movie could be marketed in my eyes um, and how successful a movie could be. You could make a really... I, I guess, kiddie movie and still have the Hitchcock noir element to it. It does nothing to the movie's performance in, in my eyes. That That's a complete crock of shit. I think that's just something to say. He just didn't like the idea because he didn't want to sound like a dick <laughs> saying he hated the idea. Uh, to this day, it is unknown how far in production the movie got, but from what has surfaced of the movie is a handful of concept art. Now, Newt had the same thing where it just had concept art and just like little details on what the movie was about. But in my opinion, um, and this isn't an expert opinion at all by any means, I'm, I'm not an expert on lost media or where it could be. I just dabble in it, of course. Uh, I don't think this ever got past the concept art page. I don't think this ever had a script. And I only think it had that plot summary. I think that's it. I think they did that plot summary. They drew a little bits of concept art and then they were like, nah, this is not going anywhere. Uh, and they didn't make a proper effort I guess, to hide their productions. A lot of companies do really well. They make a really good effort to hide their productions uh, that were never turned into movies, uh, never got off the cutting room floor. Um, they're really good at that. And Disney Pixar are really good at that because I'm sure there were way more ideas that they did that uh, were cancelled that no one ever found out about. Newt's the only one that people found out about that was cancelled by Pixar. Um, but yeah, this one is... It's just so bare-bones basic... And I watched Flushed Away recently, at least I tried to watch it, and I could only get about 60% into the movie before I turned it off. I'm a huge animation fan, guys. Uh, I love animated movies. Um, they're, they're a you know, guilty pleasure in some ways, some of them. But Flushed Away wasn't even like guilty pleasure worthy. Like It was just sh so shit. So this having a kind of similar plot in a way to flush away sort of i mean they're trying to clear it's just kind of boring and it's obviously for very little kids you know trying to clear the neighborhood pet's name like who fucking cares <laughs> even as a kid like i would not care i would be watching this about okay whatever you know it's kind of kind of boring and obviously only for little kids so you know adding a hitchcock noir i will be honest i understand what this guy means adding a hitchcock noir uh, perspective to it does kind of draw in an older audience and when an older audience is drawn into that kind of style and they watch the movie and they go oh this is just a kiddie movie like this is for kids like i don't care about this there's nothing like there's nothing clever or fun for me in this it's just the hitchcock noir it kind of gets lost in all these different ideas and lost in translation of what it's trying to be it should just try and be a kids movie but my opinion is this was cancelled because it just wasn't interesting enough and was just too boring a concept uh, for any sort of movie. And it's confusing. Very confusing where it's set. It just feels like they were trying to compete with Flushed Away. And they had to come up with something. They're like, oh, Flushed Away are doing this. They might be really successful off of their idea of the spoiled London pet, house pet, uh, losing its way and having to go on an adventure or something. Uh, we, oh, what are we going to do? We have to compete with this. Uh, uh, Freddy Cat, let's just do that. And they just came up with this and then they were like, you know what, what's the point? <laughs> if this is that boring an idea, they probably this is probably what they thought, guys. If this is that boring an idea, then Flushed Away shouldn't be that successful. It was kind of successful, but the movie itself, in my eyes, uh, a lot of people will disagree with me on this in the comments. Please, if you're going to disagree on me, and I, I, I welcome that for sure because everyone has different opinions on what they think is a good movie or not, especially with animated movies. Uh, if you wish to hate on that opinion, uh, please do so having watched the movie recently. Uh, if you haven't watched Flushed Away in years and you just have fun memories of it from when you were a kid and you disagree with my opinion, I don't accept that opinion. No, I'm joking. 
I, I, I half accept that opinion, maybe quarter accept that opinion because I liked it when I watched Flushed Away a few years ago. I think it was the first time I saw it. I really liked it. And then I watched it again and I just thought, this is shit. But I did watch it straight after watching Kung Fu Panda, which is my favorite animated movie. So I must have watched Flushed Away after not watching an animated movie for a long time. And that's why I liked it. Because as a bare bones basic animated movie, it's actually not that bad. But yeah, this is a very vague lost media podcast today, guys. I apologize. I've got all the, I had all the concept art playing behind me, but um, that's all there really is to it. Frady Cat, I thought it was worth a mention though, because it's one of those pieces of Disney lost media that if it gets released one day, it'd be super interesting. It probably won't be. But uh, I thought it was worth a uh, mention today on the Lost Media Podcast. If this was a terrible episode, let me know in the description, in the comments, on the description. You can't, people can't type in the description. Um, and uh, I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up as well. Uh, a lot of movies. I'm, I'm covering two movies. One's animated that had a potential live action version made of it. Uh, not potential, it was actually made. And another one's actually a horror movie that uh, was edited in post and was ruined in post, but before that, it was actually okay. So I'm going to talk about those coming up, as well as all the Disney stuff. I've got a few more Disney uh, cancel productions I want to talk about. And I am stopping at episode 97, I've decided I think it is, and then having a little break from the podcast, which should be nice, having about a week and a bit of no uploading, or just a week. And uh, yeah, just to review everything, I guess. But that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. The end. That was episode 88. Far out, that's a lot of episodes. That's a lot of videos. Oh.